window. But I'm here now, and we are joined by arguably the greatest to ever carry the rock, Eric Dickerson, Hall of Fame running back. Eric, welcome to the Odd Couple. E.D. What's up, guys? How you doing? What's up, Chris? What's up, bro? Great to How have you, good? man. Great to have you. Let's hey, get bro. right to it. Y'all got a new quarterback. Um, oh, yeah, we know you bleed. You bleed <laughs> blue and gold. He's the ambassador. <laughs> right, right. So, so let me just put it this way. Mm-hmm. First of all, how concerned are you about Matthew Stafford's health going forward, right? Next year, we know he's going to play next year, mm-hmm. but, you know, is he going to be able to play two years or even finish next season? How concerned are you about that? And secondly, if there's an issue with him, how comfortable would you be with Baker Mayfield stepping in for him? Because my guess is Baker's going to be the backup for the Rams next year. Well, I'll say this much here. Um, for answering your first question, um, that is a concern about Matt Stafford because, you know, Matt is older and, and he's been beat up. I mean, he, he took a lot of hits in Detroit. I mean, I think that he has a spinal contusion or whatever, and then I think he has an elbow issue. Um, but, you know, you never really get the full story. You do, you guys know that. Too. Like, well, yep. as I do, you know, you never, you're never going to get all of it, so you don't really yep. know what's going on. I mean, um, and so going from going from that area over to um, – Baker Mayfield, I mean, I think I think Baker's an, an adequate backup. Or may, who knows? He might be a starter. You know, I, I give Baker. I got to give Baker credit on, on one thing. You know, coming in and having one day of practice, not even a full day of yep. practice. I mean, that's tough to come in and play a whole new offense. Everything is different. Audibles are different. I mean, he did a great job last night. I mean, yeah. and I'm not saying he's the, he's the answer, but I've, I've always liked Baker. I like I like his grit. Uh, he's had, I think, six different offense coordinators or something like crazy. that. You think about that. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it, it really is. It's unfair to him because you think about a guy who's been in offense his whole career. Like, let's take, let's take a Tom Brady who played for the Patriots pretty much his whole career till the last of three years. I mean, when you have the same guy, the same routine, it makes yeah. it so much easier because you know your receivers, you know your offense coordinator, you know everything about it. Baker's been kind of moved around a lot. I think that Sean McVay can make him a better quarterback. I, I really believe that for sure. So if by chance he is our backup next year, and I mean, look, I think it was the best million three we're going to spend, you know, yep. and the season, our season's done. I mean, we, we knew, we knew that. I mean, right. I mean, and, and it started with the offensive line. Our offensive line was, was little with injuries and, and not even before that, they just weren't very good. But, and even like yesterday, I mean, look, Crosby was getting hailed a lot. <laughs> I mean, Haven's team was holding him to death, but you know he got away. He got away with it a couple of times, but you know that, that that's football. Ed, let let me ask you. Just talking about uh, Sean McVay and and coaching, I, I think Josh McDaniels. I, I cannot believe how bad the Raiders are. They've lost now four games this year where they had double digit leads. Uh, in the you know to start that at, at half. They lost a twenty nothing lead, seventeen nothing, seventeen point lead, seventeen point lead again, and last night a thirteen point lead. This team should be way better than it is. What, what what's the issue here? Should should Josh McDaniels be called to the carpet? Man, most definitely. And I, I mean, I said that from the beginning. Look, Josh McDaniels may be a nice guy. I don't know him, nothing like that. But it's not about being nice. It's about winning <laughs> football games. I when mean, you start and, out and, that and, way. Yeah, we he know might it. be a great guy, guy but. <laughs> yeah, but 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 we we all know what is it, what did it come down to? It's about winning. It's not about right. how nice a guy you are. Right. There's a lot of nice guys out there, but you got to win a football game. And and me personally, I mean, I thought the Raiders were going to be a lot better than this, a lot better. And you're right; they've blown some they've blown some leads. Like let me tell you, that game yesterday, I can, I got Raider guys who who are Raider fans play, and I played for the Raiders, but I got guys who are big Raider fans. And I, they went to bed. I said, man, we can't beat y'all. I just tell them, I said, we ain't going to win that football game. I'm not going to take that bet. I'm not going to take that bet. But you know what they did and what they do? They let teams hang around. Right. If you let a team hang around, they teach you that in football. Let them hang around. Sooner or later, you're going to get beat. And I was on my way home. I didn't see the game. I, the, the rest of the game, I was, it, was, it was 16-3 when I left. I said, let me get out of here. It was third quarter. Right. Fourth, fourth, fourth quarter. Uh, I looked at my phone and I said, "Wow, we're on a twenty-two yard line." And I was just, I was just seeing where you know, I didn't actually see the game, but I saw, you know, the where we were, right. you know, like a, like a meter. We're on a twenty-two yard. Line. I said, well, "We got a chance to score." I said, "We score." I said, "It was like six minutes left." I said, "We might get the ball back and score again." Sure enough, we scored. Okay, I'm like, "Wow, they scored." So I, I didn't watch anymore. I called my best friend. I said, "Man, 
you didn't say nothing. I said, turn, let me see what's going to that game. He said, man, the Rams, they tied up. I said, they tied up? I said, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> he said, yeah, he said, I said, they're they going to win with an extra point. I'm like, the Raiders let them hang around is what happened in that football game. You can try to blame that game on on Tillery for that that that, that dumb Slapping thing he did, knock the ball out. Right. I, that, 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 that was dumb. That was very dumb. But that's not why they lost. They lost that football game because they didn't put the Rams away. That's why they lost that football game. And, 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 that's, and that's just simple, plain and simple. Eric, I mean, you you – got to be one of the best people on the planet to ask this question to. And Rob and I, as we've watched the Cowboys, we have said, I mean, look, Tony Pollard is just clearly better than Ezekiel Elliott at this point. Uh, Not that Zeke isn't worthwhile. Not that Zeke shouldn't play. We do think that we recognize the value in both of those guys. Obviously, Mm -hmm. Zeke gets some of the tough yards and takes a pounding. And uh, uh, Pollard is a great breakaway back. I actually think Pollard might be one of the best running backs in the league. Um, what are your thoughts on that dynamic? And, it, I mean, you you know how it is when you're a really good running back. You want the rock. And I credit them for getting along well. But if I'm Tony Pollard, I, would you be a little frustrated that you, you want more touches? <laughs> I well, know I'm you would, this, but... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to say that a young me would be... I'll say this much here. When I think about the best back in the league, I think a guy who doesn't get the credit to me is Nick Chubb. I think he's... I, I think yeah, to me, he's I, probably one of the best backs in the National yeah, Football Yeah, what about Jonathan Taylor? Taylor. Is, he, is he up there too? Henry, and, 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 Taylor, and Jonathan, right, Chubb. And Jonathan Taylor, Chubb. Jacobs is tough. Uh, yep. Henry, Henry, Henry De- Derrick Henry. Right. But I'll say this much here. You know, Tony Pollard... Tony Pollard's a good back. And them kids, let's listen to this. Gibson, he's a very good back. But you got to understand... When you become the guy, the guy, you, you now the game plan is strictly for you. Let's say, let's say they don't play. This is they give, this is they give Zeke five or six carries. The, the game plan is strictly for you. Now you taking all those hits, run up the middle. You taking a swing pattern. You 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 got to pick, pick up the the, the blitzing linebacker. You taking all those hits. To me personally, I don't think Pollard is ready for that job yet. You know, I don't. But I'm not. I'm not with the Cowboys. I don't see him every day. I don't know. I don't know his. They know seem his body to feel the way you do. Yeah, they they seem and, to think he's not. I, I I and I don't think he is. I don't think he's ready to take those those some games. Some games, you know what? You got to just take it up inside. Ain't no ain't no outside. And, and then they and then and, and, you know they hidden out there. <laughs> they they hidden. So right. you know, are you re- are you ready to take the ball twenty five or thirty times? And most of them gonna be up to good. You sometimes you good stuff. Sometimes you got to make you might have to make the tough yards. To me, Zeke is still that guy. I mean, for sure, Powell is faster, he's quicker, he's younger, but is, is he ready for, for to take over full-time? Me, personally, I don't think so. But I'm not, a, I'm not with the Cowboys, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I just, he's getting, what was the last game, Chris? Seven and a half yards a carry, last Zeke game. is he's under four. Close to yeah, six, it's, just, and, it's just when you still got it. But, 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 but who's doing the, but, but, but Zeke is beating the defense up. They they got to they got to tackle him. To me, Zeke is they, getting the yards inside. They still got to hit him. I, I mean, mean, it's a good and they, duel. And, and, and you as know, you know and, and, and most they're, teams they're good it's together. A dual yeah, they're good. they they are. Right. There's no doubt. They're, they are they're, good they're together. Good to, they're, they're, they're good together. They're good together. And think about it, the more times you get Tony Pollard hit, the more more chance you have of him getting hurt too. And you don't want that right now. Look, you're, you're trying to make a playoff run. It's getting closer to this playoff time. The Cowboys are going to the playoffs. They're a hot team. You don't want to take a chance on him getting hurt. Uh, last thing, hurt. last thing, Eric. How how disappointing yeah. is just how the Rams season fell apart? Like like, and it started from week one. You know they got destroyed by Buffalo right out the gate. So even before the injuries started happening, they just got. Are you surprised that they went from where they were last year? You know what I mean, winning a Super Bowl <laughs> to to being here now, which is playing out the string. Yeah. You know, Rob, man, yes and no. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be good, but I didn't think it would be this bad. But, you know, one of the things is is that you can't foresee injuries. You can't foresee them. I don't care how great your team is. If you get the starters hurt, the guys get hurt, it, doesn't, you, 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 you mess, you, it messes up the season. It does. Basketball, baseball, football, whatever sports you, you play, because now you got the backups in. And remember, that's why the word back, they're backups. They're not that good. Some of, some of the backups aren't that good. Then on some cases, sometimes the backups are better. But on average, they're not. And our offensive line has been decimated. 
with with injury. And, it, and, and on top of that, the line was not great anyway. But you start with the offensive line. You can't protect the quarterback. You get the Stafford killed. Just like, just like look at last night. I mean, lucky Baker Mayfield is you know pretty elusive, and so is Wolford. But you, if you can't block the guys up front, you got you got a problem. So am I surprised? Yes and no, but. I didn't think we'd be this bad. <laughs> I, thought we, I thought we I thought we'd be a little bit better. Right. But with all the but all with all the injuries, I'm not shocked. I mean, I'm you know, you look at the injuries, you, you, I'm just not shocked. We we we're, we're pretty beat up. All right, that's our man the Hall of Fame. Appreciate Eric you, ED. Dickinson. Yes, thanks ED. We appreciate it.